know when y'all hear that. One to one. Stay stuck in the damn traffic, man, for the idiot ass people. Just don't know how to drive. But while I'm in this traffic jam, I guess I want to talk to y'all about the sad, cold truth of you're going to love them no matter what, man. I think sometimes we as people are waiting for this one time to, that, you know, you'll just completely not care about them no more and, and all this shit. But the truth is you're always going to care about them in some way. Even, and, and, and this is another thing that y'all got to remember. Even if you completely fall out of love, and you completely hate them, right? Because I know the title is you will always love them, right? We're going to get to that. But let's say you completely hate them. It's still a feeling. And guess what feelings are? It's energy. So even if you hate an ex, even if you, you're not in love when you hate them, it's still a feeling towards that person. The key is to not have feelings towards them anymore. Or to have old feelings. Like feelings you're above and beyond and past. Right? It don't matter if they cheat, lie, whatever. They can do whatever, man. When you really are a genuine person that love, you're always going to love them, man. Or you're going to get to the point that you hate them and it's still, it's still the same type of, uh, it's still feelings. Hate is still feelings and those feelings are towards that person. That's why it's important to forgive them and disengage from them. You have to forgive them because hate is still feelings towards that person. You can't have that. You can't have that, right? And then you have to disengage from them because if you're not hating them and you're not disengaged from them, it, let me just throw the first part out there, not hating. It don't matter if you hate or not hate. If you did not disengage from them, they could cheat on you. It don't matter. You're going to always forgive them because you did not take that first step of walking away. You have to leave them alone. They're not going to stop doing what they're doing. And your feelings ain't going to stop being your feelings until you actually walk away and leave them alone. Some people are scared that, oh, I'm going to get hurt. It's going to hurt. Well, it's going to hurt either way. Life is too short to be dealing with women and men that think they can treat you any way they want to. Do whatever. It's just too short, man. It doesn't even matter. You got to get to the point of, all right, yeah, I care about this person, but I don't even give a fuck. I care about me more. Every relationship I had to leave, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave. There wasn't no special feeling that came over me like, oh yeah, I just want to leave now. That's not how it works, people. Right? It's when you get to that point that you love yourself more than you care about them or, or dealing with the bullshit, you'll leave. And when you leave, you're still going to have feelings for them. Your feelings ain't going to just drop because you left somebody. That's not how this shit works. But your feelings will start to become old feelings. Meaning you always have feelings for them, but they won't be strong now. You could think of that person every now and then. It might bother you a little bit. Maybe that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not going to bother you to the point that it's overbearing. You know, and that's where you need to be at. When they start doing bullshit, it's time to disengage, man. 
Stop worrying about um, how you feel about them. I think a lot of y'all worry too much about how you feel about somebody. Of course, you're going to care about somebody that, that you just now left and all that bullshit. But it doesn't matter if you care about them. That's not why you leave it. And that's not why you should stay. You shouldn't just stay with somebody because you care about them or have feelings towards them. Is the situation a situation that you should stay in or leave? That's the key. It don't matter if you love them or not. Because a woman can cheat on me right now, right? She can mess with five of my, she can cheat, call me bitch, cheat on me every day of the week, right? It don't matter if I love her or not. Is that going to stop what she's doing? No, it's not. And truth be told, I'm still going to love the woman uh, that, that does that. Until I disengage my love from her. How do I do that? Completely leave the woman. There's no other way. It, it, a woman could cheat on me 24-7 and, and call me out my name and this and that. The only And I'm still going to care about that person if I don't disengage and walk away. That is facts. I'm just going to be an arguing motherfucker, piss the fuck off and feeling like her bitch. Because I didn't disengage. You got to walk away. You got to walk away. There's no other way around that, man. And the thing is, man, when you usually walk away from people, toxic people and shit like that who don't appreciate you, you'll get better. Sometimes I'm starting to believe people don't want better. But then again, they do want better, but they, they feelings make them feel like the old mistreatment and abusing is better because it's comfort but it's not necessarily better it's just like a job it's just like a job you know that they're doing all this and that for other people that they're not doing for you but you're in the comfort of the job so you won't leave nah you should leave you should just go it is what it is you should grab your balls and you should just go And that feeling for that job and all that other shit, it's going to be there until you disengage, man. People know that you care about them, too, and that's another thing about people, man. They know you care. That's why they do the shit they do. She, he, he or she ain't leaving. They'll forgive me again. Because they know that you care. And you going... This is the thing, man. People don't get it. You're going to care, man. It's not about... You, at some point, it's not about caring. It's not about how you feel about them. Love or hate. It's not about that. It's about what's best for me. Oh, but 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 her sex and her head is this and I don't think I can get better. It don't matter if you can get better. It don't fucking matter if you can get better or not. At that, this is the type of mentality mindset you gotta have. I don't give a fuck if I can get better or not. I don't care if I'm alone for all my life. I love myself more than this treatment. Life is too short not to be fucking happy, man. Anybody or anything that is causing you unhappiness must go. But you got to close that door. They're not going to close it. Especially if you benefit them. They not gonna close it, man. Especially if they miserable, they gonna want company. They not gonna close the door. It's not easy, but if you really look at it from the big picture, like okay, I want to be happy. And and guess what else, y'all? Sometimes when you're in a relationship with a person and love and all that shit, if you hold on too long. It might put you to the point that you can't even love again. Is that what people want? Do y'all want that? Do y'all want this person that is no good for you to cause you to not be able to love the right person? <laughs> Fuck that, dog. You gotta realize that. At some point, like, hold on, this bitch is this bitch is trying to um purposely make me mad and miserable so I can't love the next woman. Ah, I see what she's doing. Discard. It don't matter if I can, it don't matter if it hurt like a motherfucker, I don't care. It don't matter. It's not about that. It's the big picture. Yeah, this is going to hurt right now, but it's going to hurt even worse if I hold on. So I might as well just let, let it go now. Either way, the shit going to hurt. 
Either way, you're still going to care. That's the price that you pay. We pay. Sorry, y'all. The fucking uh, phone cut out, man. Well, not the phone, but there's a dry spot. But that's the price we pay, y'all, when you love the wrong person. Love is love. It, it, it ain't no changing. Uh, well, they was the wrong person. This person, uh, a, a bad person. So my heart's just going to just not love them. No, it don't work that way. If it worked that way, you wouldn't see so many people love them wrong people. Just admit, okay, I fucked up. I love the wrong. All right, I'm back again, y'all. Um, yeah, this is the price you pay, man. Love the wrong person, man. That's what it's really about. Everybody try to come up with these. Um... Yeah, every I'm back. It's going to keep cutting in. I might probably just end the video, but, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? I want to keep talking, man. But uh, yeah, man. Everybody got all these things about, oh, this is how you make love work and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Man, at the end of the day, if they the wrong person, they the wrong person. If they not, they not. If they the right person, they gonna make it work with you. And if you're the right person, you're gonna make it work with them and it's gonna be magic. But if one or the other is the wrong person, it don't matter who the fuck you are, you can be the best person in the world, it's not gonna matter, right? It's not gonna matter. But people gotta realize, man, um, fuck how much you uh, care about somebody. And I don't say that in, in, a, in, a, in a bad way. Like, because, again, I can care about a, a woman, but she could be plotting my death. See, I still care about the woman. So what does it mean if I care about her and she plotting my death? It don't mean shit. It just simply means I care about the wrong woman. So lower that shit down from plotting your death to you love a man or woman, but they treat you like shit. It's the same fucking thing. It does not matter if you care about them. It just doesn't. And when it gets to that point to where you feel like, I don't care if I care about them or not. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm doing what's best for me. I don't care about how much I care about them. I care about me more. When it gets to that point, because the relationship you're supposed to care about the, that person as much as you care about yourself. But when it gets to the point that you care about yourself more than them, you won't put up with that bullshit no more. The problem is a lot of people actually care about the person more than they care about themselves. Or that person has made them feel like they don't love themselves. And that's what a lot of people do. They beat you down with words and shit like that because they don't want you to love yourself. They don't want you to be a strong woman or man. Especially on the, on the man's side. Women are guilty of this too, but I think men are definitely guilty of this. You're scared of a strong woman. Not all. Not not real dudes. We don't give a fuck. She, we, we want our woman to be strong and, and the greatest version of herself. But there's a lot of dudes out there that are scared of that shit, man. And that's why they beat the woman down to, so the woman won't feel like she can do better than him. But in reality, he knows she can do better, so that's why he beats her down. And women are guilty of this shit, too, for sure, for sure. So this is what they do. Or they try to make it to where, since I can't have you, no one can have you. How do I do this? I'm gonna just make you. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna beat you down mentally to the point you have no energy to give to the next person. That's why a person gotta know when to cut the fucking cord, man. You gotta know when. All right, it don't matter. I I, I care about them and it was fun, but I gotta go now. This is too much. It, it's no different than the job. Care about the job and all, man. But it ain't working the way I wanted to. I gotta. There's gotta be something better. There's gotta be. And it ain't even about something better. It's about doing better for you. You don't deserve to not be happy, man. You're trying your best every day to be happy, but you got people draining you of your energy. And it's already hard enough to have energy. Then you got people draining it too. Time to go.
I definitely got to pull up this GPS because I don't know if I want to stay on this traffic jam or get off. So I'm going to let y'all go, man.